hours after she's killed, telling us exactly who they think did it. 13 Action News reporter Parker Collins has more on what the family wants in the wake of their loved one's death. She prays the rosary every day. She did not deserve to die like this. Yesterday evening, police found a woman in her 70s dead at home. Police think she was killed. She's well known to the, com to the Catholic community. She cooks for priests. She cooks for people. She bakes goods for um, people. Her family identifies her as Erlinda Penaflor. They say she was kind to everyone she met. Even though the victim in this case was older, her family is telling us she made a lot of friends, not only in her Catholic community, but also with her neighbors. My grandmother, they were best friends. The shock when my grandmother received on the phone, my grandmother suffered a stroke. It happened five minutes after she received the phone call. Investigators said there was likely some kind of fight between the victim and her estranged husband before she died. I'll go to my grave saying he did it. Family said they'd been telling her Linda to leave him for a while and said she always looked for the good in others. A very religious person who's loved by the community. She's kind, gentle. You wanted to give her a hug right away. That's the type of person she was. And that's why her and my grandmother got along so well. Near Sloan in Washington, Parker Collins, 13 Action News.